This video will cover the topics translating the graph of a parabola, one step and two steps. What's the difference between a one step translation and a two step translation? When performing a one step translation, we will shift the graph either vertically or horizontally. When performing a two step translation, we'll shift the graph both vertically and horizontally. When a graph is translated, each of its points is shifted the same distance in the same direction. When translating a graph, we can use the following rules under the assumption that c is greater than zero. When a constant is added or subtracted inside the parentheses, we'll shift the graph in the x direction, to the right or to the left. When a constant is added or subtracted from the entire function, we'll shift the graph in the y direction, upward or downward. Let's take a look at an example problem. Let's say we have the graph of y equals x squared, and we want to translate it to result in the graph of y equals the quantity x minus 3 squared. Okay, so it looks like we have subtracted 3 from x inside the parentheses. According to our rules, we need to shift the graph of y equals x squared to the right 3 units, right? That's right. Let's go back to the original function and try another example. Say we want to translate y equals x squared to result in the graph of y equals x squared plus 5. Since we've added 5 to the equation, we will shift the graph of y equals x squared upward 5 units. Alright, I think this makes sense. What if we had a two-step translation? Our process will be very similar. Let's again go back to our original function. Let's say we want to translate the graph of y equals x squared to make the graph of y equals the quantity x minus 1 squared minus 5. Since we've subtracted 1 from x inside the parentheses, our first step is to shift the graph horizontally one unit to the right. Next, since we've subtracted 5 from our function, our second step is to shift the graph vertically 5 units downward. Now that we've completed our two-step translation, this resulting graph is our final answer. Okay, I think I understand this topic. When translating the graph of a parabola, the addition or subtraction of a constant inside the parentheses results in a horizontal shift of the graph, and the addition or subtraction of a constant to the entire function results in a vertical shift of the graph. That's exactly right. Great work!